the laws of the land, a lot of times we won't move. Uh -huh. Now this man had picked up his bed as the, the, the Lord had told him to, and he comes to these religious folks and they say to lay back down. Look at that bed back down. You ain't supposed to be doing this on the, on the Sabbath. Sabbath day. But a lot, the, the man, he, he knew that he was free. All right. If you've been troubled for 38 years in a situation, in a certain place, and with no movement, mm -hmm. And somebody tells you to put it back down, lay that down in your troubles, mm. and say, be comfortable in that situation mm. that you've been in for 38 years. I think I would have to tell the man no. <laughs> I think I would have to tell the man I can't do that right now uh -huh. because I'm moving in the power and I'm moving in the strength uh -huh. of the Lord Himself. Uh -huh. I think that sometimes when we get to a place where we are caught up. Uh -huh. In religious things yeah. and religious practices, we lay down uh -huh. our faith. All right. We lay down our faith in a, such a way where we cannot move. Mm. We're troubled because religious religion has us stuck in a place where we can't move. Uh -huh. Now, I would say my first point would be no movement. Mm. When we come to a place where certain things or religion binds us to certain things, there is no movement. Mm. Because you are stuck in a situation mm -hmm. where you can't move because of the law. Uh -huh. Because of what is standard or what is set in uh -huh. front of you that makes you bow down to mm. this religious practice. Uh, Amen. If we look at religion, if we look at the definition, it's a, a personal set or an institutionalized system of religious attitudes, beliefs, and practices. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not saying that it's something you, you uh, 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 it, it's saying, what it's saying is it's something you commit to. All right. What it's saying is these religious attitudes don't have to be of God, but it's a religious thing that we do. My Amen. God. It's saying it's a system. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get stuck in a system that is not of God. It's mm -hmm. not where God has got you. It's not where God needs you to be, but yet we're still in a system comfortable mm -hmm. because we have accepted yes. that this is what we should do mm -hmm. because of religion. Mm -hmm. Sometimes religion, sometimes matter of fact, you're just in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. And religion has you bound up mm -hmm. and, and keeping you in a place where you obey because of what is being taught mm -hmm. and what is being practiced. In the house of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our belief is not centered on who Jesus is. Uh -oh. It's not centered on what God is, is doing in your life. Mm. It's just something we go through ceremoniously to be tied to a certain place or a certain thing. Mm. Are you hearing what I'm saying today? Amen. I think that sometimes when we get in a place mm. where our faith is not tested, our faith is not moved. We are in the wrong place religiously. Mm. Our faith has to be tested in yes. order for us to grow. Now, if you look at Hebrews, the 11th chapter and mm. the 6th verse, it mm. says in the International Truths Bible, it says, without faith, mm. no one, let me say that again, mm. without faith, no one mm -hmm. can please God. Without faith, no one can please God. Mm. Anyone who comes to God must believe that he is real mm -hmm. and that he rewards those who truly want to find him. Mama. Do you really truly want to find him or do you really want to find a religious experience? Ooh. Or do you want to find a religious situation mm. that will keep you in the mindset that I'm okay? Mama. I'll keep you in the mindset that I'm
place where there is no growth in you. Mm. Get out of the place where your relationship is only to the people and not to God. Mm. Amen. I think that sometimes we get in familiar situations where we are familiar with our familiar habits. Yes. Amen. People do things the same way. Uh -huh. Familiar habits create a lifestyle where we're doing the same thing religiously. Mm. Hallelujah. We got familiar attitudes. Amen. I think like sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so. I, I live like brother so-and-so and sister so-and-so, but my relationship is with a person and not with God. Amen. Amen. Our attitude is, is, is about certain things and not about how we live for God and how we do things. Mm in the house of God. Amen? amen. And we have strange attachments. Mm. Can you say amen? Sometimes amen. the strange attachment attaches us to somebody but we don't know why. Hallelujah. We don't know how we got here but we're strangely attached to someone, something or some situation that has us bound up in religious Teachings, preachings, and situations. Hallelujah. I think that strange attachments take us to another place where we can't even ask God what is going on. We can't even reach the Lord because something has us bound up, tied up, tangled up in the wrong thing. You know, this guy was in this place for 38 years. Comfortable in this situation. Comfortable in being in a place where religious people are all over, mm. moving around, doing things that are, uh, uh, they're going to temple, they're going to worship, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. They have certain things that are done daily. Mm. So it's done daily. Sometimes things can be done hourly or monthly or, or yearly, but religious religion will keep you bound up My God. if you're not careful. Mm. Hallelujah. Religion had him bound up in a place of God's mercy, in a place of God's grace. Mm. Amen. And if you look at the scripture as it starts, it talks about uh, this pool was at the sheep gate. Mm. You know, and we're called the sheep of his path. <laughs> Amen. If you look at Psalm 100, it says uh, that, that we are... Uh, 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 his people, uh -huh. the sheep of his pasture. Come you know, on, you've got to know where you are located. Uh -huh. First of all, yeah. he was at the sheep gate. We are all Ooh. God's sheep. Oh, Amen. God. We are all the people of God in one place, but yet and still our relationship can be tainted. My God. Hallelujah. Help. You know, when you come into the house of God, the Bible says when two or three are gathered in his name that he is there. So the anointing is always in the house of God. Oh, but uh -oh. if you don't know how to receive from God, you can't get what you need in this certain situation. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Amen. God's grace is in his house. If you have a problem, God's grace and his mercy can change come on, come your on. problem. Hallelujah. But if you don't know that, My God. like I said, the other message is at your level of understanding. If you don't know that God's grace can change your life, you'll never change. My, my, my. You'll be stuck in a religious situation where you don't change at all and you have no growth. My and there God. is no movement in your life. My Hallelujah. God. I think that we got to learn how to get in touch with God every day, mm. not just on Sunday. My God. Hallelujah. Woo. You know, I think that God is really trying to wake somebody up mm. and get them out of a religious situation and into a real understanding of who he is. Yes. Amen. Live life. You live with, you know, we, we, we get in God's grace and yet we still live our life the same way before we got saved. What mm. is wrong with that? Mm. What is wrong with us living the same way and just caught in a religious situation? Mm. That means we don't know God. Mm. That means that, that God, is, you know, when the, in the scripture where it talks about depart from me, I never knew you. You never knew God because you didn't develop the relationship with God. Hallelujah. Yes. Our belief has mm -hmm. to be in a way where we know God all the time. Mm -hmm. And we know God how we know
know him because we have developed mm -hmm. a relationship with him yes. and we know that God is real in our life and our relationship backs that up not by just backing it up with different people yes. backing it up with different with, with different situations where our relationship is mm. full with him yes. Hallelujah. Good, word. good word God is looking for lifestyle change mm. He's looking for you to change your lifestyle. He's looking for you to change the way you think. He's looking for you to change your attitude and your mindset. We got to know that God is looking for a lifestyle change. Mm. Hallelujah. If your lifestyle don't change, it means that something is missing in your walk with God. Mm. It means that something is missing in your relationship with God. The religious practice that you are religiously doing. <laughs> My God. I think God is trying to change the, the way you look at what you do in church. Mm. You know, what do you do in church? Or do you do nothing in church? Or do you just sit in church? Or do you just sit around thinking about how am I going to uh, uh, stay in sin? Mm. And live religiously, My thinking I know God. Mm. I think that sometimes when our mind is troubled, uh -huh. when mm. we are in a situation where we know we're about to sin or we're going into sin, that means the Holy Ghost is working on you. Well, but if you don't let Him work, mm. Hallelujah! Hey, if you don't let Him work, mm. there's going to be a time where He just lets you do what you do mm. when you want to do. It. My God, Hallelujah! Mm. And I'm going to say this. Never let religion hold you into a position of defeat. Mm. If you know we're on the winning team, mm. don't let religion hold you in a position of defeat. Because if you're not living for God and you're not doing what God has called you to do, what are you doing? Mm. You're, just, uh, 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 you're just practicing something. You're just doing something religiously because you think it's the right thing. Yeah. The Bible says that uh, uh, um, some people have a form of godliness, but they deny the power of God because that because of the pride that's within them. My, my, my. You know, I think that pride ties us up. Mm. Even Lucifer mm. was tied up with pride. Yes. And I think that uh, if we don't watch out. And recognize mm -hmm. that pride is creeping up. Yes. The Bible says that the humble yes. shall see God. That, that the humble mm. shall bear rule. That the humble, the humble. shall shall see God. My Hallelujah. My. Are you going to see God or are you going to be caught up in your pride? My Hallelujah. My caught up in what I do and how I live and where I go, where I'm going in God. Mm. Where are you going if you don't have a relationship with him? My, my, my. Where are you going if you don't know God? Mm. Where are you going if you don't know Christ and you don't have a relationship with the Son yes. of God? Mm. Hallelujah. Knowing Christ is not religion. Mm. It's a relationship. A relationship. Knowing Christ mm. is something that you have to experience mm. as a child of God. Mm. I think that sometimes we don't respond to when God is is, is calling us because we don't know him. <laughs> my, my, my. <laughs> Woo! Ah, hallelujah. 38 years bound up in a place. My, my, my. And you don't know who the Savior is because he didn't recognize who he was when he came. That's right. Amen. He didn't recognize that this man had come to release me from my bondage. Ooh. And this man had mm. come to get me out of this religious situation mm. and, and I'm troubled because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Mm. All I'm doing is complaining, telling him mm -hmm. that, that I, I what, 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 and I can't do this and I can't do that. Mm. But if he would just open his ears my, my, to my. hear the voice of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wouldn't have even complained. He wouldn't have said nothing. He would have said, yes, Lord, mm. and I'm moving right now. My, my, my. Amen. But if you look at the situation, it said immediately. Immediately. Woo, uh. Hallelujah. He took up his bed. Mm. He heard the voice of God. Mm. He heard there was freedom in the sound of hearing Woo. God's voice. Mm. Hey. Yes, Lord. Yeah. I, he learned that there mm. was freedom when he said, in one version, he said, get up. Get Hallelujah. Up. A lot of times, we got to get up out of our mess. My God. We got to get up out of our situation and know that God is calling 
us higher and move with the with the quickness, as they used to say when I was younger. You you got to move. Amen. A religious focus will limit our vision and our movement. Ooh. If you can understand that, a religious focus, mm. well, it will limit us from vision and movement. My God. I think that if we don't know how to uh, uh, get out of having just a religious experience mm. and knowing who God is, mm. our faith can grow. Mm. If we get to a place where we are moving in God, our faith can grow. Mm. If we get to a place God, where God God. is talking to us and he's giving us instruction uh -huh. and we're acting on what he's saying and what, mm. where he's moving us, yes. our faith can grow. My but God. a lot of times our faith is not growing because we're mm. not hearing, we're not moving, and we're not responding to the my, call my, of God. My. God is expecting you to move. Mm. He's expecting you to hear. Mm. He's expecting you to listen. Mm. He's expecting movement because you got to turn when he say turn. My God. If he say left, you got to go left. If he say move forward, you got to move forward. Yes. But a lot of times we're stuck in a position because of religion. Mm. I think I'm coming for the religious folks today. And I want you to know that God is looking at what you do. Mm -hmm. He's looking at your response to what he's saying to you. Mm -hmm. And he's looking at how you respond at the point when he said, get up uh -huh. and move. Uh -huh. When he said, get up out of your situation, mm -hmm. we still comfortable. Mm -hmm. Hey, we still in a place where, Lord, I don't want to move. My God, that's a shit. Hey, we still in a place where yeah, I can't yeah. hear because my ear is dull. My God. Hey, we still in a place where we say, Lord, I, I, I don't hear you right now because I'm in a place of no word. Hey, it's time. It is time. The time is now. The time is Woo! now. Can you hear what the Lord is saying? The time is now. Religious people, mm. make your relationship with God. Mm. It's time mm. to get yourself to a place where you know God and he knows you. My God. God is expecting movement right mm. now. Mm. The Bible says in Hebrews, the, the, the 11th chapter in the first verse, now mm. faith is. He's expecting you to move now. Now, that you hear the word, now that you know you're in a religious position, the Bible says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Amen. The second verse says, uh, um, hold on, I'm going to turn to that. Because I, I think some people are, uh, are trying to rationalize. Amen. They're trying to uh, figure out how to be uh, where they're at without movement. Mm. Amen. They're trying to figure out how to be where they're at without submission. <laughs> they're trying to my figure God. out where God is mm. in my situation and I'm not moving forward. It says, for it, it for by it, the elders obtain a good report. All right, all right. Are you obtaining a good report by I your faith? Have a shit in <laughs> Are you obtaining a good report by how you move in God? Mama, mama. Are you obtaining a good report by your response mm. to the uh, call? My God. Are you obtaining a good report by how God is moving in your life? Mama, Amen. Mama. The Bible says there's signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. Yes. Are there signs and wonders in your life because you believe what God said? And you're moving in faith. My God. Or are you just being religious mm. in a situation mm. where your mama been there, mm. your daddy been there, mm. your grandma been there, <laughs> amen, your, your granddaddy been there, but he still ain't moving in faith. Some of our elders have gone on to be with the Lord and still without faith. Some of our, our relatives Mm. have gone on to be with the Lord religiously in the church mm. and still didn't have a relationship with God. Sometimes you gotta 
God know mm. where you at and respond to the call. Mm. Mm. Respond to what God mm. is saying to you right now because it's important mm. 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 for your life right now. Mm. 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 Religion told this man it is not lawful. Mm. It's not lawful for you to be mm. healed today. Mm. It's not lawful for you to move in the spirit. Mm. Right. It's not lawful for you to know God mm. in that way. Mm. Do you think, who do you think you are? Mm. Hallelujah. Who do you think you are? You think you're better than me? That's how a lot of religious folk respond when you say you got to know God in a greater way. My God. Hey, mm. They said, who do you think you are? Mm. God talks to me too. Yes. <laughs> my, my, my. God has a relationship with me too. Mm. But if you don't know God in prayer mm. and he can't speak to you, he don't know you. My God. Hallelujah. Mm. I just thank God for being in a place mm. where he can speak to me and I will respond because it's been years of getting to know him. Mm. But if you've been in the church like mm. this man had been for 38 years, Oh. And you don't know the voice of God. Mm. There is something wrong. <laughs> there is something wrong. My God. But I have to give the man some credit. Mm -hmm. Yes. When the man, when, when the Lord say, get up, mm. hey, he was smart enough to get up. <laughs> hey! He was smart enough to say, okay, Lord, I'm moving. Oh, Amen. Yes. He was in movement. He was moving because. He heard mm. the word of the Lord. Yeah, huh. And when we learn how to hear from God, there will be some movement in our life. Yes. Amen. There will be some movement. There will be some progress in our faith. Mm. We will not just sit in the church mm. and looking at everybody else. Hallelujah. <laughs> we won't just sit in the church and watch everybody shout and make fun of them. Mm. We leave. Amen. My God. Uh, and we won't just watch a, a, a man or a woman run around the church because God has done something so miraculous in their life. Uh huh. We ought to get up and run with them. Mm -hmm. You know, we got, maybe God will do something for us. <laughs> 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 Woo! I think that uh, uh, when we think about what happened when religion binds us to a certain thing, we got to understand that. Uh, if we don't see change, we got to go back to God and ask him why. Mm. If we don't see uh, our situation improving, we got to know, Lord, am I in a trial that is going to end? Or am I in the wrong position trying to find, figure out why I'm in the position? Mm. Amen. Even Jesus had to say, not my will, but thy will be done. Yes, yes. I think that when we come to the place where it's not my will, mm. it's not my, my thought process, it's not my own way of thinking how you act and how you respond to me yeah. that uh, uh, brings change. Mm -hmm. It's me hearing mm. and submitting mm. to your will. My God. And I just think, Think that uh, uh, if we want to grow in God, we have to develop a relationship with Him. Yeah. Always remember, when you talk to God, take time to listen. Mm. <laughs> take time to hear. Amen. Because it's not always the, the, the situation is not always one way. Mm -hmm. With us talking mm -hmm. and talking mm -hmm. and talking well. and talking well. and talking. <laughs> hey, we gotta hear what God say. Amen. Hear what thus said the Lord. Yeah. Amen. When a prophet came to town and there was a word from the Lord, he, he would make an announcement, mm -hmm. a declaration. What thus said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now the Lord is telling you today to get out of that religious situation. Mm -hmm. Get out of that religious position. Mm -hmm. Get out of that place where there's no growth and no movement mm -hmm. in your life. My, my, my. Move by the word of God and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I think I'm gonna uh I'm gonna just I'm gonna close with that. I just thank God for this series of messages and and knowing that your impotency can change. Yes. Amen. Mm. Unable to respond correctly mm. in movement is something that's got to change in your life. My God. 
God wants to change you. Mm. He wants you to move mm. in power, in authority, uh -huh. and in he wants you to move in the spirit in which he calls you to. Yes. So get out of that place, y'all. Mm. They you say, come up, come up off that wall. <laughs> get up <laughs> off that closet. Mm. Amen. A lot of people still in the closet in the church. Mm. <laughs> Y'all can take it how you want to take it. <laughs> a lot of people still hiding from God mm -mm. in the garden. Mm. Amen. Mm. Sowing fig leaves together and trying to hide in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. But I just want to pray. Amen. Yes. Because somebody needs a change in their life. And I just want you to know yes. that we are here. To offer um, help, assistance. If you would just uh, make a prayer request at www.kidministries.com, we'll pray for you. Yes, we will. Amen. You can even reach us on uh, 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 in social media, on Facebook. Amen. Leave a comment. We'll, we'll respond to your comments. And if there's something that uh, is not... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Lord, we just thank you right now, God. We send this word to everyone, oh God, who's moving in religious in religion yes. and, and being tied up and bound up by religion. We ask God that you would fix their life today. Yes. We ask God that you would straighten out the situation that is bound up by the enemy. We ask God that somebody will receive their freedom today. Hallelujah. And they, they will see, God, that there's a need for change in their life. Yes, I pray, God. God, that you would help them help to them. respond right away. Help them to respond quickly and help them to move because you are calling them to movement. And we thank you right now, God, for everyone that is uh, received on today. We ask God that this seed will grow and be germinated by the Holy Spirit. Yes. We thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, and the church said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah.